Good morning, everyone. Please uh, stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to call this uh, salary board meeting to order. I'll entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes of last meeting. Second. A question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, opportunity for the public to address the board agenda items only. Okay, no one. Uh, I'll make a motion. Uh, Human Resource Office of Youth and Family Services, 234055. Yes, Mr. Commissioner, this motion is to approve the recruitment and retention of the Office of Youth and Family Services for current supervisory administrative employees to receive a one-time payment of $5,000 effective April 14, 2023. All current and supervisory administrative employees shall receive a one-time payment of $5,000 effective August 4th, 2023. All current supervisory administrative employees shall receive a one-time payment of $10,000 effective November 24th, 2023. Employees must sign an agreement not to terminate their employment before 12, 20, 12 31 23 to receive the payments, or they must refund the county of said payment if they terminate their employment prior to 12, 31, 2023. Mr. Chairman. Anyone, uh, Joanne, you want to tell us a little bit about this? Sure. Um, so as Mr. Jeffers says, this will be for the admin and non-union employees of the Office of Youth and Family Services. It's our attempt to, you know, address issues that have been occurring down there to hopefully retain and attract new employees in the future. And this is something that should have been done earlier and it was only recently approved by the state and uh, agreed to by the state that they have all the same issues that we have. Correct. It's, yeah, Correct. it's a statewide yeah. issue. Okay. All right. Uh, I made a motion. I'll look for a second. Second. A question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank I you. Abstain. Pardon? I abstain. You abstain. Okay. I think he has to state a basis for the okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, for the record, commissioners, while I understand the importance of having a full complement of great Office of Youth and Family Service employees in order to properly serve the children and youth of our county, I don't have enough information on the financial impact of the county. Uh, or how these figures were arrived at to be comfortable in voting yes on this initiative. Okay. So therefore, I abstain on the salary board vote. Okay. I'm not against it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, motion 234056. So motion to approve the recruitment and retention bonds for the Office of Youth and Family Services for current members of the American Federation of State and County Municipal Employees, effective August 18th. 2023 employees receive a $5 an hour increase until 75% of the current complement is full. Effective August 18, 2023, starting salary is covered by the collective bargaining agreement. We'll receive a $2.50 hour increase until 75% of the current complement is full. Any employee who remains employed for three months from this date shall receive a payment of $5,000. Employees who are still employed for six months from this date shall receive payments of $5,000. Employees who remain employed for 12 months from this date will receive a payment of $10,000. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, this is also something that's been coming a long time. and it, it, It's more expensive to train people than this to retain them. And we're, I'm very happy that this is finally something that the state's willing to uh, agree to do. And uh, Joanne, you have something to uh, comment on this? Uh, no, as you know, as you said, it's very much needed. We agreed to the collective bargaining agreement earlier this year, but as we're, you know, as things arose and we're losing more employees, we felt us in the union we needed to do something to keep employees here. Um, so we worked very closely with the union, and this is something we've both uh, agreed to and came to together. And I believe 80, I know 80% of the, the, the. Correct. 80% is state funded. The county would be responsible for the 20%. The and, and also too, um, since we're down so many employees, the, the, we actually have the money in the budget. Right. Any, anyway. Due to vacancies, this money is pretty much budgeted that just haven't been filled. And the state has pledged, haven't done it yet, but has pledged to uh, increase our share of uh, their program. Uh, all right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Quick question, Commissioner. Sir. Quick question. 
Can I be informed as to what complement the department is at currently? I don't know the, the complement they're currently at. The complement are we at currently? I know we're achieving, trying to achieve 75, 80 percent. Oh, I, I don't, don't know where we're at. I don't know. Well, I know we're low. Yeah, do you know the percentage? Uh, we're at about 56 percent overall, uh, far less with caseworkers, but overall for the agency, we're at about 56 percent. Good to know. And is it fair to say that while well, no one has officially <coughs> resigned, I think we're not down people currently today that no, we, the future is looking bleak if we don't do something. As far as caseworkers, you mean resign? We've had quite a few. Oh, we have. Okay. Yeah, at least ten. Over the course of the last few months. Okay. Right, any other right. questions? And so, and then Gary, so he, Gary knows too. The union approached us with this um, settlement to to talk about giving them more money so they would stay. You know, with the retention bonus and stuff like that. And the money was already in the budget from January. Because of, I don't know how many openings there are, but because of the amount of openings that there are, just, just so you know that the money's there. Thank you. Okay. Well, we have a motion. Um, do we have a second? Second. Question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. For the, same reason. For the same reasons I previously mentioned. Thank you. Thank you. Opportunity for the public to address the board. Joan Hodawana Scranton. I'm sorry I arrived late, but um, these two motions, I was confused. Um, I was reading the agenda for a commissioner's meeting, and I saw these two documents posted there, and they seem to not pair up with the dates for the first and the second ones. Uh, the first one talks about $5,000 effective April 14th, August 4th, uh, 10,000 November 24th, so on and so forth. But they don't match the ones from the union's time, time frames. And then the one from um, OYFS doesn't mention the hourly wage increases. So my question is, for the bonuses, What's, what are the dates we're working at? Or are we working at double dates? But just to clarify, did you, did your first part of your question, do you mean that 4055 and 4056, the, the dates don't, they're, they're, they're not the same? Right, they don't. April 14th, August 4th, November yes. 24th. So, they and then, don't. And then you go down to the second one, and the dates are all different. You, you are correct. The first one is for management. And those dates have been pl placed in by management. Okay. The dates on the second one are for the union, and the union put those dates in for the union. Okay, so they are so, two separate dates. Yeah. So the first one is for non-union employees. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So that makes sense. My second question is, has someone, can someone tell me, assuming this all goes forward, what it's going to cost for both of them together? Approximately over the lifetime of it, twenty-five thousand dollars a month. But for the next four months, it'll be thirty-one thousand dollars a month. Well, how about just for this year, for both? Thirty-one thousand dollars for over the next four months is approximately yeah to the end of one hundred twenty-six somewhere in that range. Is that after the reimbursement from the state? That is our that's our so that's, that's our, our side of it. Okay. okay, so after reimbursed from the state, it would only be twenty-some thousand dollars. After reimbursement from the state for the remaining four months of this year, it'll cost the county thirty-one thousand seventy-five dollars a month. Okay, one thing in um, approximately in that okay. range. One thing that su per su month. surprised me: the county proposal on re re recruitment and retention bonus. There's a sense in here. Employees must sign an agreement not to terminate their employment before December 31st to receive the above payments, or they must refund the county of the said payment if they terminate their employment prior to December 31st. Well, what if they terminate on January 1st? Then they get to keep their bonuses. And they all know that. Mm -hmm. You think that's wise? Well, they haven't left yet. I Man don't know. Management they, hasn't left yeah, during they, this entire crisis. They could easily submit the resignation they could. effective. They, they know, very the well the could. Year. However, okay. a lot of them aren't ready for retirement age. Okay. So Brian and I, have, Brian Jeffers and I had this very same, mm -hmm. literally, work for conversation. I, address, I asked him yeah. the questions you asked. And well, basically, we have to handle the 
crises as they come. I understand that. Um, but my, my thought process is, like, these are talented, educated people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and in all honesty, there's a robust job market out there. So they really, you know, have a choice. And, you know, I mean, if your first priority is your own family and their financial support, I wouldn't be surprised if some of them do walk. Take the bonuses and I, run. I, and I understand your, your concerns, Joan, but at this point, if we don't do something to try to lure them to stay or to lure new people in, we're going to be out of business. And in the last, I mean, this should be. The point is they are technically, they're, they're underpaid. Oh, we know that. I mean, that, that's well, a given. It's, it, it's been a robust job market for a long yeah. time, Joan. And if they wanted to leave, they could have left. This is try to let them know that we appreciate them and the county appreciates them and that we, you know, we're, we're concerned about their, their, their being. Uh, they, a lot of these people could have already left, but they chose not to because they loved their job. Yeah, well, I understand that. But these are one-time bonuses, number one. And the employees are going to, the, the wage increases for the, for the employees, they go forward. Yes, That's a legacy cost. Yes. Okay. Uh, just out of curiosity, over the last 30 days, ha have you hired anybody for that um, department? Not that I'm aware of, no. And I believe there was one, but then. applications for employment? I'm sorry? You getting any applications? No, ma'am. Okie dokie. Thank you. Work in progress. Anyone else? From the public? Okay, members, other business? I am. No, nope, I'm good. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Any question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.